shout out to Jared Dines for the awesome music in this video. Link in description to his channel for more Metal AF goodness. What's up? It is Jared from Vandalistica Vlogs and today I got a box. Now don't be don't be confused. Just you know it's a very long slender box. Unfortunately, that is not any kind of firearm. Okay, so not a firearm, but something that I thought might be just cool to have for making videos um, and even for making, not making, but taking photographs. So, let's open this up. The knife on this multi tool is super rusty. I cut some bacon with it uh, and then left it out in the rain because a tool is a tool is a tool. Alright. So I ordered this from eBay last week. And, uh, let's see what we've got. Alright. One empty box. Still not a rifle. Still not a rifle. What this is. Carrying case. What this is is a stand for green screen. Um, well, not even just green screen. You could use it for, um, you know, hanging paper for taking photographs, that kind of stuff. So you see, it's opened out into a wider. Yeah, there you go. Into a wider case that holds three parts. So there's going to be two legs. And one crossbeam. Um, so we'll have a look here. There we go. And these are telescoping legs, very similar, if not exactly the same, as the ones that are on my studio lights. Right, so basically, yeah, you pull that out. It's really stiff. There you go. And then you've got one leg there, which has a uh, telescoping arm inside, which you can see here, pretty much, yeah, exactly the same as my other ones. So these go up to, I believe, I've already forgotten, I believe it's, they extend up to 2.5, 2.6 meters, and then it's 3 meters across. And that gives you a really good backdrop to do things, uh, like, like I say like a uh, green screen and that kind of thing and when I bought my studio lights they actually came these were from eBay as well they came with um, a green screen fabric which I'll grab like right now so we've got here a really vivid green here which is you know a little bit creased up but obviously that'll be normal once I uh, do that and then that's uh, a fat stomach okay so we got that, but uh, yeah, so i um, pretty stoked on that, um, it was really cheap too, um, I think the whole thing cost me like, with shipping, maybe 40 bucks, and uh, yeah, so I can do things like this, or like this, now I'm the winter soldier, because I have no arm. Um, amazing. <laughs> it's a bit of a nothing video but I haven't really put anything out for a good minute or so and um, I thought that would be fun uh, just to say hey look I spent money on things. And so the other thing I've got to do is um, I recently bought a bike. You know what I'm going to show you my bike. There we go. So that's Simone's bike which probably cost a lot. And here's my bike, which cost 89 buckaroos. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a you know geared mountain bike-ish kind of thing. Um, I don't. I bought the second hand, obviously for 89 dollars, but I bought the second hand, so I don't have the instructions. I'm not really sure about this gearing system because if you see down here, this part of the handlebar, this little round bit here 
is actually movable and that's the gear change but there's one here too and yeah I still haven't figured out the thing that I've been thinking about doing is uh, sorry I'm not on the I'm, I'm holding my gimbal separately because I had the camera put down for that other bit but what I was thinking is I'd put the camera on the gimbal ride the bike and then hang the camera like that and ride with it to get some cool street riding shots, I guess. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that now. It's a little bit rainy outside, but I mean, a little quick ride up and down the street. Should be fine. I forgot that I had my microphone. I was just pointing the microphone at my leg. Well done. So, it was like it's still a little bit dayish outside. Dayish? Glasses are wet. Uh, but then, just as I was like pumping out the tires to that bike, Simone came home and we had a little chit chat. And I swear, we were talking for like less than 10 minutes. We had to go out almost pitch black. So, not the best time to try and do this uh, little test, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyway. So, that's what that is. I can see how maybe if I had something like a uh, friction arm, some kind of thing that I could put maybe on the handlebars or on the frame or somewhere, you know, like how GoPros have mounts, but for the whole gimbal, that way I get the stabilization, not just the, you know, the point of view or whatever. So I'll pop that in here now, and um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, then um, my apologies because there's no real kind of reason or pattern or any kind of thing with this channel. It's just whatever I feel like putting up, I put up. If you did like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, but I would appreciate it if you let me know uh, why. Because um, we can only make things better where we know what it is that we're not doing well. Anyway, <laughs> God bless, look after each other, and I'll see you in the next video eventually. Bye.